Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at the Matchbox RS 2000s. So we start our journey back in the 1980s. Now through the years there has been numbers of them. We're not going to go through every single one of them, generally speaking the ones I've got. And I'll give you some idea of what they cost and what they're worth today. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. Right, we'll get straight on with the video. And this first model coming up is probably my fourth purchase I'd ever bought. And it wasn't even that dear. And it's original. So this is your standard RS2000, which you would have bought in a box back in the 1980s. Now, I dare to say this particular model must be a later one. It's got clear glass. Now, if you've got yellow glass, it's actually worth a lot more than this one. Now, originally this model cost me nine pound and it comes in your box like this. But today, if you were gonna be buying that with the box in good condition like this one, this is gonna set you back around about 40 to 50 pound, give or take. There's currently one going through the auction at the moment. And I'm almost certainly it through the auction with the fees and everything else, that's most likely gonna get 30 to 40 quid, give or take. But that depends on who's at the auction. Now this is the sort of thing you'll pick up from a car boot sale. Now you think to yourself, oh my God, there ain't gonna be much value in that. But funny enough, in good condition, and if it's not been played around with too much, and they can be cleaned up nice, today, that is fetching around about 15 pound. I got that for 50p at a car boot sale. And this is the other model. This is the red one with number 10. Now this cost me 50p, and I even tried to get it down from 50p to something like 10p. And today, in good condition, on eBay, without the box, 15 quid. So there you go. If you hunt around enough, you'll find these. Now to me, this one's a little bit tatty because if you look at the roof, it has got a few little marks on it. That model's a 10 pound model every day of the week, even with that little mark on. So you can't go wrong. Now you've got this one. This is the purple number 10. Once again, this is the GT models. You could get them at the time out of Toys RS. Once again, in good condition, just basically out of the blister box, that will cost you 15 quid today. Now, obviously, once again, that cost me 50p. And I can't say I'm quibbling at that. And once again, I tried to do a deal on it, but the guy, well, the little boy told me to in nice friendly language. Now going on to a mo model which is in a blister box. Now I can tell you straight away, this RS2000 is obviously mint and it's in its box. Now at the time, this cost me 47p from Toys RS. Today, that model in that blister box is gonna cost you 50 pounds. Yep, I know what you're thinking, 50 pounds for something that costs 47p. Yeah, but that's just the way it goes. If you're lucky enough to have these things and buy them at the time, it's a bonus. And moving on to this one. Now this is actually a very super rare model. Apparently these are stupid money. Now I actually got two of these. I, I, to be perfectly honest, I'm, I take that with a pinch of salt. Now, once again, this model cost me 47p. I know, it seems a bit odd, 47p from Toys R Us, you can see it. Now, this model itself today will probably set you back about 150 quid. Heaven knows why. I mean, I, I can't answer the question as to why, but funny enough, that's just the way things are today. Well, there you go, folks. Wasn't that nice? That's just a small collection of my Irish 2000s. Now, the prices, I mean, are going up on these old, vintage models these models and we call them vintage now because even in the 80s they're vintage but these are as 2000s in the boxes now i'm not going to go through ebay today because i tell you what the sheds of these on ebay and i mean they were a common model back in the 80s and i mean to say i, I counted nearly what well, got to be 25 different ones on ebay and I thought, nah, I'm not gonna go there today. Normally I'd drop onto eBay, but when the sheds of the stuff, what's the point? If you're gonna buy one of these, get yourself one in a box. That's the best way. And I've seen these boxed up, original like this for 30 quid. So check them out, buy them now. If you can get out of one for 30 quid, buy it. Because they are gonna go up in value. Like the rest of these RS2000s, car boot sales, anything like that, it, you'll find them. But be careful now because the little kids are getting very clever. And those little kiddies with their mobile phones know how much these things are worth. And they and those little kiddies are six year olds and they'll tell you to, you know what I mean? I know. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. 
Laters!